Okay, so I go, I'm going to send out a unit for a customer. Uh, one of the things we do is we automatically do the longer cables for you. Uh, when you're running a Volkswagen, unfortunately, the distance from the unit to the controller is longer because our engine's in the back. So to get the cables up there. Unfortunately, these units, if you buy them from Fitech or Jake Summit, whoever you're getting them from, uh, they come with standard length cables, which is six feet, which is for a V8 or something. So, you know, V8 to the dash is pretty dang close. Volkswagen's not. So we actually give you the longer cables and everything. We actually wire up the, the power cable and everything for it. Not what I was gonna show you. So I've actually wired this up to a, a little inverter. And with the inverter, I just want to, this is how I program them, but I'm going to do is here, let me plug this in first. I got a little inverter down here. There you go. Unit just clicked on. And I wanted to show you is I got to actually program this for the customer. So there's the standard turned on. You hear the units doing its little thing. Here's the little, and it comes with the cord. In this case, I have it plumbed into the computer over here. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is plug this baby right in the bottom. Sorry if this looks goofy. Let me plug this in first one-handed and then you get the screen pops up so if you've just got this unit and you want to start doing some programming on it you're going to want to go into the USB mode Let's see if I can get this at the right angle there you go that top one what you do is you take a little joystick and click on that and what that's going to allow you to do is actually download this program into your computer it is stored in this unit you'll go through the USB basically mode if you're going to be making changes to the main computer on the unit, you're actually going to come over here to change to K-Line adapter. Take the joystick, click down to it, click it. K-Line adapter mode. You heard my laptop recognized it. I'm going to take it and OK this. And you'll come up here to, hopefully you can see it, dash. When you click on dash, that's going to connect them together. And you'll, you'll notice these gauges suddenly, the sensors they're hooked to, well, they'll suddenly start displaying. So here I'm going to click dash, and there you go. No, no changes because they're already set, but you can see this one's already kicking around. Here, I'll, I'll actually take the, uh, the throttle on it over here. So it's going to move it. So you'll notice right here on, where am I at? Uh, throttle position sensor, there you go. You'll see it move with it. There you go. So I'm basically taking the throttle over here and hitting it. But now it's hooked up to it. So that's how you actually connect to it if you're going to make changes in here. In here you've got things like your, uh, let's say, basic settings, all your information on that, basically. Uh, each time you go in here, you're going to want to click on the read button up top corner here. And that's going to instantly read from the computer that's on the unit. If, this is just going to display what's generically already stored in it. So there you go. Sounds like I got you a phone.